Mm -hmm. Professor Dr. Emmy Nerte. He's been called the most important mathematician you've never heard of. But I recently found a children's book. Scientists are a famously anonymous lot, but few can match the unmerited obscurity of the 20th century mathem mathematical genius Amelie Nuta, but she preferred to use her middle name, which was Emmy. Let me tell you a little bit about her. She was a mathematician's daughter, but she was not allowed to enroll in university classes. The academic Senate warned that co-educational education would overthrow all academic order. There's a faculty member who is quoted as saying, what will our soldiers think when they find that they are required to learn at the feet of a woman? But fortunately, mathematician David Hilbert gave a famous reply. He said, I do not see that the candidate's gender is an argument against her admission. After all, we are a university, not a bathhouse. So finally, she was permitted to study, but still had to ask permission from each lecturer whose course she wanted to attend. She did win the right to matriculate and ultimately earned a PhD in 1907. And I believe she was the first female PhD in mathematics in Germany. But in that era, there were no faculty jobs open to women. So she worked without pay for over seven years. And then she was hired by Hilbert at the University of Göttingen, but she had to give his lectures under his name and was still not paid. It was 1923 before she received an official appointment. But only a decade later, she had to flee to the US to escape persecution. It is said that she produced papers and theories at a staggering rate, including many contributions that were very rarely acknowledged through papers that were written by her students and her colleagues. In the United States, she joined Bryn Mawr College and maintained ties to Princeton's Institute for Advanced Study. President of Bryn Mawr announced her association by saying that she is the most eminent woman in mathematics in Europe and has had more students at Göttingen than anyone else in the department. Her last doctoral student wrote, that her methods of thinking and working were to recognize the unessentials and brush them aside. This was far from a superficial achievement. The development of abstract algebra, one of the most distinctive innovations of 20th century mathematics, is largely due to her in her published papers, in lectures, and in influence on her contemporaries. Nature's theorem of 1915 is said to be one of the most important mathematical theorems ever proved in guiding the development of modern physics, possibly in a par with the Pythagorean theorem. Now, I knew one of these two gentlemen, Leon Letterman, retired just a few years before I took my, my last job, but he would have been my boss. He has the honor to hold a Nobel Prize. This is no mean accolade. Emmy Noether saved general relativity with her theorem. This is not well known. But since 1915, general relativity had captured the attention of physicists. But this theory had difficulties which even Einstein could not resolve. We would likely not be celebrating this landmark theory were it not for Emmy Noether, who in her prime couldn't even secure a teaching job because of her gender. Noether's theorem provided the mathematical breakthroughs that general relativity needed to win over physicists. Yes, it's that important. Her mathematical originality was absolute beyond comparison. She 
change the face of algebra by her work. She is the greatest woman mathematician who has ever lived and the greatest woman scientist of any sort now living and a scholar at least on the plane of Madame Curie. So says the, the cyberneticist Norman Lee. A few days after her death, this was published. Within the past few days, a distinguished mathematician, Professor Emmy Nurture, died in her 53rd year. In the judgment of the most competent living mathematicians, she was the most significant creative mathemat mathematical genius thus far produced. So wrote Albert Einstein, published in the New York Times. The biographer summarizes that in her 53 years, many spelt, spent bucking a system that impeded her pursuit of mathematics. Nature had an extraordinary impact on both algebra and physics. There's no telling what else she might have accomplished if society and fate had been more kind. Okay, so what's the connection? What does her work have to do with C++ class? It was she who taught us to think in terms of simple and general algebraic concepts. For Emmy Nurture, relationships among numbers, functions, and operations became amenable to generalization only after they have been reduced to general conceptual relationships. In case you missed it, here's the key. Yes. The greatest thing in 20th century mathematics, what was Nurture's idea? It was that you could separate concepts from implementation, you could just deal with concepts. So if anybody invented generic programming, she did. She realized it all. She realized that you could fully separate these two things. Her contribution needs to be remembered. And who wrote these words? Alexander Stepanov. Yes. I found Time Magazine was trying to make up for the fact that they didn't have many women as their person of the year. So they recently published some covers that they should have used, saying that even now, the world still learns from Nurta, whose abstract principles are fundamental. C plus 20 owes concepts to Professor Dr. Emmy Nurta. Her contribution needs to be remembered. Let's please all keep her in mind.